Good morning. This is the um, devotional for March 16th, 2021. I want to talk to you about a subject today, and the subject is courage. Uh, with all that's happened in the last year and what uh, was continuing on through this year, um, it doesn't look like much normalcy will come to us uh, until possibly well into the year 2022. Um, we have uh, seen people lose their jobs, their separation from family and friends. Um, there is the worry uh, about will this virus get cured? Will we, will we all be able to be like we were before? Uh, and courage comes into to play here. Um, it's something that I've had to think about on a personal level, uh, even with, um, you know, my uh, finding out I had uh, cancer in 2018. Um, in fact, as I was uh, uh, recollecting about that just just today, I, I realized that the one thing I remember praying about the most was, Lord, give me courage. Um, it wasn't even, Lord, heal me or any of that. It was, give me courage to go through this. Um, courage, and as I was um, doing this study, I realized that there's a lot of other things that underpin courage and that courage also reinforces and that is faith. Um, courage is linked to your character. Uh, courage is linked to your maturity and your faith. Uh, courage is linked to wisdom. Um, there's all kinds of aspects of courage that uh, we never really think about. Uh, um, uh, it takes courage to uh, give forgiveness. It takes courage to ask for help. It takes courage to change your ways. It takes courage to see the world through God's eyes. Um, uh, so while I was trying to put this together, I, I realized that there were a number of uh, biblical characters that uh, I remember reading. And so I revisited them again. And uh, two I'm going to share you, but there were women in the Bible, not the big heroes like David and all the uh, heroes of the, the battles that took place, but heroes that challenged faith and morality and um, hope. Uh, the first two I want to talk about are in the book of Exodus and they're Shipra and Pua. Shipra and Pua were Hebrew midwives commanded by the evil king of Egypt to kill all of the Hebrew baby boys as soon as they were delivered. But because these women feared God and they were certain he had set aside the Israelites for his greater purpose, they listened to the Lord and instead of the king of Egypt, instead of killing the Hebrew children, Shipra and Pua saved them. Now, we very rarely ever hear about all of the great things that God has done through the women of the Bible. But when I remembered this, I remembered this is courage to do the right thing um, based on their belief in Yahweh and that they feared him more than they feared the king of Egypt. Um, another one was um, uh, Rahab uh, in the book of Joshua, where um, she helped the two spies that were sent forth to scout out the city um, for Joshua and how she helped them uh, in the, and putting her own life in jeopardy to uh, do the right thing. Um, she uh, eventually was um, came into the fold of Israel later on, her and her family. Um, these type of things uh, are what courage is all about. And the cur courage isn't without being fearful. Uh, um, courage isn't without um, hoping that you're doing the right thing. But the one thing courage is, is moving forward. I mean, the opposite, obviously, is cowardice, and you either stand still for the rest of your life with that, or you move backwards. And what's the old saying? You know, a coward dies uh, many deaths. So as we're looking into what is going to happen to each one of us in the here and now and what's happening in our societies and, and across the world, I encourage you to have courage. 
and draw on the scriptures and the Lord for courage. Um, I'll read you a few scriptures here. Uh, one being Psalm 31, uh, verse 24. Be strong and take heart, all of you who hope in the Lord. Psalm 27, verse 14 says, Wait for the Lord and be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Another thing I forgot to mention is uh, courage also develops patience and uh, patience develops maturity and all the ones that I, I mentioned before. Um, and this idea of, of, of courage is something that we need to revisit as we're going through all this and in order to help us get a better understanding that there is a hope. There is a hope in Jesus Christ and that is the uh, focus of our lives. So whatever all else is going around us, this hope uh, is, a, uh, is what we look forward to and it's a promise. But you have to have courage to step forward. You have to have the courage to go through things. And courage is not the absence of confrontation. It's not the absence, uh, you know, th those, those aspects of it are all part of what courage entails. You have to face those things. Courage is facing things. And with Christ and with uh, your brothers and sisters in Christ, you will be able to be encouraged to have courage. You know, that sounds really corny, but it's true. So uh, another one, Proverbs five, uh, Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6, and this is one we hear a lot. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. and all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. And 1 Corinthians 16, verses 13, says, Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. So having courage and being strong are interchangeable. So as we go through this week, um, and whatever you're facing, take time to be with the Lord in Scripture and in prayer. Take time to realize that you're not alone. You have brothers and sisters and family that can help you through this or whatever you're going through don't have fear be courageous it's not easy it's not easy for me to say it you know as i go through um some of the uh, medical procedures that i have to go through um, you're talking about the biggest chicken in the world here when it comes to climbing into big machines so um i need to draw on i need to have courage i need to i need to face it um, so I encourage you to do that. Uh, have courage. Um, I just want to pray for you now. Father, I thank you for um, all those who might be tuning in and for whatever that um, is uh, going on in their lives, um, that you would uh, help them concentrate on the courage that can be drawn from you, from your scriptures, and especially from the thing that we know the most, that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and that we have fellowship with you through him. So as this week uh, tarries on, uh, uh, I encourage you and I pray that the Lord will encourage you to have courage. Thank you.